Welcome back, everybody, to Subsistence. We are once again under attack by our neighbors. And they are not happy with us because we stole their stuff and killed all their dudes in the last episode. Okay. Oh, shit. We're stuck in the door. Let's take one of those. Sorry about the darkness. Hey. Don't be doing that. Okay. I think we got them all. And we're bleeding again. Okay, yeah. I was not planning on bringing you back yet. Uh, but we just got attacked. I'm assuming these guys are Bravo, but I guess I don't know that for 100% sure. Um, so yeah, let's grab their stuff. And decent stuff, not too bad. Uh, so what I was actually doing is uh, right in the middle of making um, a stairway so that we can get up to our roof and check our crops. Um, so uh, we got the stairway here. Now we also need to go out this way to get up there. So I think what I'm going to do is let's pick up this window here. And I'm going to at least temporarily um, stick it out here for now. It might not stay there, but uh, that's where it's going to go right at the moment. Okay, and then let's take this, uh, these stairs here. I actually want them to go this way, but I need to rotate like so, I think. Yeah like that I think that's right yeah oh all right because they th they threw the the Molotov up here okay that way we can get up on the roof and check our crops um <clears throat> do I actually want to move that over I don't know I don't think so I think I want to keep it right there we just have to be careful we don't bail off the side when we're up there. Okay, let's take a look at our crops. These are all tomatoes, so let's fertilize and water those. And then these are onions and uh, potatoes. So we're gonna also hit them as well. Okay, good. So, um, yeah, let me get this uh, all fixed up and get a couple other things situated, and then I'll bring you back and we'll keep working on uh, doing some more building here. Oh, look at this. We found a cotton plant growing right on our island. Nice. We'll take it. Those are pretty rare to find in the wild. But, yeah, not bad. Okay, so let's see here. We are pretty low on protein. I don't really want to go hunting right now, so let's see if we can luck out and catch a, a salmon or a pike or even a largemouth bass. And if we don't, then we might have to go over there and kill that wolf and or that bear. Okay, just got a little trout there. Let's try again. There we go. I was just about ready to start whining about how doggone long it took to get a bite, but I'm not going to complain with this. Look at this beauty. Yeah. All right. It was worth it. It was worth it. Okay. So let's get this guy filleted and get those fillets cooking up. Uh, we will turn the trout into oil and put that stuff away. All right, now I have... Uh, oh, this needs to be repaired. What does it need for repairing? Cloth and feathers. Let's get that repaired. So, you know, winter's uh, on its way. It's like mid-October or whatever. 
And we, uh, we're still a ways off uh, from being prepared for it, at least clothing-wise. If we could make four of these, we have two rope already that we found on, from a raid or a locked crate, I can't remember. Um, the cloth's not going to be an issue. And we have one padded cloth that we got from the raid yesterday. So what does it take to make the padded cloth again? It takes three cotton. Okay, so here, let's do... Uh, We'll be able to make two more padded cloths with this. Okay, let's just do that now so we get it done. Um, and then, you know, we're still going to have to come across some co more cotton, though. Or cotton seeds. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Okay, let's eat this apple. And I think we're going to probably need all three of these. Well, let's just eat two and see how far up those get us. No. Nope. Yeah, we're going to need to eat all three, but we can save this one uh, for later. Now, the other thing we could do is we could make this. Oh, wow, that that requires five yowzers. Okay. Yeah, that requires five padded cloth. That gets 2.4 warmth and five protection. S two warmth and six protection. I don't think you can wear both of these at the same time, so I don't know. I, I would much rather have 6 protection and 2 warmth than 5 protection and 2.4 warmth myself. I never actually even made this shirt at all in Season 1, unless you can wear them both. Suitable for fall and spring, it says. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, okay, uh, let's get that out of there for burns. And we'll put those back. Okay, so we have three padded cloths so far. The other thing we really need, I, I'm almost, I mean, this even gives a little bit of warmth, but I'm almost tempted to make this first, even before the winter coat. Um, it's going to really limit things in the winter time, but, you know, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how, how that all pans out. Okay, let's put some stuff away in here. Those can all go in there. Uh, we'll put the waters in here. For now, and I guess we'll just hang on to this, and that can go in there. Okay, so we still have 63 boards. Um, so let's keep working on this setup here. So we got, uh, oh, is that a crate? Yes, it is. It's an ammo crate. Okay, we'll take that. Grab this and this while we're out here. Okay, so we should probably get some more walls up. I think what we will do here is, for now, is let's make a doorway here that goes out to this way. And then we're going to need a wall and a ceiling piece. So let's get those two things going. Um, and this can also be... We could actually make this a window. Actually, almost all of our fighting has happened over here, especially from Bravo. I'm almost wondering if I should move this window over. Hmm, not sure about that. Okay, let's put the door here. Okay, and. Uh, let's go ahead and make another window, and we'll put a window here. And we, we know for sure, no matter what, we need a ceiling. So let's make a ceiling as well. And then we'll see where we're at with our resources. I, I think, I really do think we need a window coming out this way, because Charlie, when they start attacking us, might come around this way, maybe? So let's just go with this. But now we can see quite a ways through there and still, you know, have some cover to duck behind. And we can also see out here. So, like I said, up to this point anyways, all the combat's kind of ha happened on this part of the building. Okay, good. Now, let's go up here and put this ceiling piece in place. Pull it back to us a little bit. Cool. 
Very cool. All right. Now, um, I think rather than expanding out this way, for now, I'd like to work a little bit more on what's going to happen out here. So one thing we could possibly do, um, why don't we take this other foundation that Bravo graciously brought to us? And we're going to stick that on the end of here. Let's turn it this way so it's the same, going the same way. Right, okay, cool. Now what we're going to do is let's make a, one of the corner foundations. And that's going to wrap around and then go that way. And then we're going <clears> to <throat> set up... We're just going to run foundations all the way down and effectively create uh, a barricade. And later on, you know, as resources become available and whatnot, we will we'll probably, you know, wall it, uh, wall it off too. But right now, because uh, I, I just know from my experience with Season 1 that these foundations should theoretically anyways blo block them i don't think they can go underneath them if it turns out that they can you know then then we might have to put half walls along the outside or something but for now let's just run with this and uh, we will eventually do the same kind of thing over on this side too but again because uh, most of our combat's taking place over on this side of the base we'll start with this now, if the AI is smart enough, and I certainly wouldn't put, you know, bet any money on them, but if they're smart enough, hopefully they'll still know enough to go around and not just get stuck here and derp out. But we'll, you know, we won't know how that's going to go down until it goes down. So, okay, how many more of these can I make? Oh, quite a few, actually. All right, you know what? Um, I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking here. We, c I guess we could expand out to this side. So that means we're going to need two more walls and two more ceilings. And then we can turn the rest into foundations. And then after that, it's back to grinding this stuff out again. Okay, so I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking here. Uh, okay, let's, yeah, let's do that. So let's go, I said, let's see, no, actually we need th three more walls. If we're not, unless... We do something like this on this side too, but I don't. Hmm. The only reason I would do that is for symmetry, more than necessity. But I still think even if we do do it that way, I still think I want to go out even yet another foundation. I, I know I'm I'm kind of thinking out loud here. I'm sorry, guys. I know I'm a little scatterbrained with all this. Let's eat this now just so it doesn't go bad. All right, so let's make two. More of those and, and another... Let's do another window wall, too. And what we might actually do with that is put it here. Is that damaged? It surely is. All right, let's get that fixed. I guess I didn't finish repairing from before. Okay. Okay. That is two. Oh, we're out of wood. Okay, I'll have to go get some more wood. Okay, well here, let's um, 
Let's pick this up. And I want to put it... Oh, I'm going to have to do this temporarily. Just so I can actually... Oh, can I get out there? <laughs> I can't. Okay, let's pick this up then. There's an eagle outside. I'm just going to put it there for the moment so we can move around. Yeah, there he is. He looks like he just caught a fish. Okay, so we're going to put this wall here. I think what we're going to do... Oh, look at that. I'll take it. Game's giving us crates. Now, I want this window to go... Here, I think, at least for now. And I think I'm going to move the doorway to here. All right, now this we can pick up. Oh, we still need to repair it though. And we'll put that there. Whoops, keep hitting the wrong thing there. Bring this back this way. Okay, put that guy up. I think I think we want actually want a window here. All right. So let's just stick that there for the moment and we'll put this window here. There. So that way, if we, you know, if stuff is coming this direction, we can look out and fight that way. Okay, good. <coughs> All right, let's take this door and put it over here temporarily. Are we being attacked at all? No, nope, I think we're good. And we'll pick up this wall here and put it temporarily up there so that we can move this over. To hither. And then we're going to want to pick these guys up. Try to be careful to hit the end key and not the delete key. Um, could we like... Don't snap. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. That way we don't need two stairs. I know it's a little jank and it's not perfectly lined up. That's something I can mess with later. And then we could take this and maybe put it out here. We have a way to get up there from out this way. Okay. Yeah, what what I can do here is I'll, I'll work on that off camera and get it try and get a little straighter than it currently is. Good. Okay, now, uh, can we just actually make another door? We need to. Yeah, let's make another door for here. And then while we're waiting on that, let's grab this wall up here. Stick it there. Oh, hmm. I was thinking that was going to put that in the center, but it doesn't, does it? Oh, okay. Well, the only way that's going to work then is if we either extend this out further or bring this one back in. All right, I'll have to mess with that later. Um, I'll figure that out. Uh, if we want this to be in the center, which is kind of 
what I was going for there. Okay, that gets all of our walls back in place. Now we need two uh, we need two ceilings. And we're just about out of boards. While we're waiting for that, let's go out here and down here. And we're going to start putting in these foundations here. Alright, what if we came up here and did it this way? But I think we have to flip this around because it's not lined up. There we go. Okay. All right. Cool. Well, they definitely can't, even if they can swim under here. Well, I can get through there, but like I said, I mean, if it, if it turns out that they can swim underneath there to get through, then we'll put we'll put like little half walls or something along uh, the edge of the the deck there. So let's get these ceiling pieces in place. Um, let's go up and look at that. I don't know if that's lined up or not. Well, these aren't lined up either. It's lined up with that side. I guess we could keep them offset just to add flavor to the building or something, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay, let's grab this. Okay, bring it over here. And we'll just put it down here for now. Just to kind of be like a little guard so we don't accidentally go barreling off the end kind of idea. Okay. So uh, where does that leave us with resources? So we have eight more planks. Um, we, we still have 166 nails. Uh, do we have any more nails in the house? I'm going to, you know, rearrange some of this stuff too. Oh, yeah, we do. So we still have 238 nails, so we're still in pretty good shape with nails. Um, you know, boards are easy to come by. It just takes time because you got to, you know, farm up all the wood and then turn it into boards, but it's not difficult to do that. Um, so I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I want to make right now in this particular building session. We were, uh, let's go back out here for a minute. So, yeah, we could, it, I don't know, it kind of makes sense in my mind to to expand this way further instead, just because, again, you know, the main building's kind of over the rock rather than going this way, because then if we expand this way, then it goes and hangs out over the rock. That doesn't cause a functional problem, but it does kind of create an, an aesthetic issue. So, yeah, I think I'm going to do that, you guys. I'm not going to do that right now, but I think we're going to put two more foundations in here and expand the main building out one more foundation that way. And then I'm going to put this back where it was, so then ultimately it will be in the center. So that's, uh, I think that's the plan for that. Okay, well, hey, um, I think that's about it for this episode. It took a little bit more time than I was uh, planticipating, but... Uh, we made some progress here, and we have something a little more than just a boring old box. And like I said, we will continue to add to this base as time goes on and um, build it up and make it look really cool. But that is all for today. So, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment to share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Oh, by the way, before I let you go, um, I need I, I need to do some grinding now. So I might take a couple of uh, days off, uh, in-game days off, and just do that. 
but keep the recorder ready for something anything real crazy that happens but just go out hit locked crates get wood get nails that sort of thing um and then you know bring you guys back at some point with an update on where we are and continue on for there so um we'll see how things go who knows maybe i'll just start the next episode up immediately because we'll have a reason to but we'll we'll just play it by ear all right that's it see ya bye bye all right guys it looks like bravo's coming after us really hard to see them okay he's dead all right we made contact there got him okay cool so we shot those dudes before they had a chance to even get one shot off on us all right that'll show them if it was a little bit later, I'd go re-raid them, but I think it's still a little bit early for that. Very cool.